welcome again to my workshop. Yesterday I went to my recycling shop um, and I picked up this piece of timber. It looks as though it was a shelf um, in uh, some sort of cupboard. Um, it's oak. I would say it's Tasmanian oak but it could be oak from England, I, I wouldn't know. Um, and it's got, it's got a few screw holes in it and uh, someone's made a bit of a repair here. But basically it's fairly straight and you know it's a bit stained and someone's tried to I think put wallpaper on it or something. Um, but I paid 25 cents for this. Um, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I am going to turn this 25 cents into $150 with the PT6012 CNC router. And I can hear you, you asking, how the hell is he going to do that? Right. Now, I am going to carve, I'm only going to carve uh, one, uh, one part. But uh, you know, I can prove to you that uh, you know this whole plank can be made into 3D plaques. Um, if you look in, if you look into my um, web station channel, whatever you want to call it, um, I show you in ArtCam how to uh, get a grayscale or take a, a relief. Uh, within ArtCam or anywhere else for that matter and how to process it and um, convert it to g-codes for the tools incidentally we're going to be using one tool for this and that's one of these tapered two millimeter mill cutters, ball mill cutters um, so I'm, I'm going to do the whole process with this um, so we're going to Calf. Uh, I'm not quite sure what exactly we're going to carve yet. I'll choose a um, a relief, and we'll um, I'll cut the square piece off this, set it up on the machine, and we'll cut it in one cut. And um, I can you know obviously sand the edges in the back uh, to finish it off nicely. And uh, well, you know it's probably in a market somewhere, uh, when it's all nicely finished, it will fetch somewhere in the region of between 40 to 50 dollars because it will resemble a brand new piece of oak uh, with a 3D relief uh, in, in it. So without more ado, I'll just uh, cut a section off this and um, put it on the CNC router. Actually, I've just stopped it, and what I've decided to do, I've uh, rewrote the um, the G code to start in the middle and do a circular cut, cut from the middle out, uh, for just for something different, uh, other than watch the tool just go back and forth in the X direction. I'll show you something a little different. So here we go. What it's actually doing, it's doing an oval pattern.
of this old oak planking which was 25 cents from a recycling um, shop into a product that can be sold for I don't know 40 45 dollars but what I decided to do although I've carved this 3d relief or picture into this oak I've decided to leave the face of the oak as it was and I've just cleaned the back only and sides and I've only uh, in this case used linseed oil uh, to seal the, the wood, uh, the freshly cut wood which gives it that, I don't know, the antique look I suppose. <laughs> 